hi guys welcome to my channel um so i'm just going to be doing like a little what is a v-back um my journey of a v-back and i basically just started this channel just to document sort of my journey like with a v-back um delivery which is hopefully going to be successful i'm 32 weeks pregnant at the moment um and i just really wanted to create this channel to like help and support other mums that have maybe been through the same thing as me or are going through the same thing as me and I just think especially now I think we just really need to support each other um because we can't physically be there at the moment you know with the whole covid everything like that so I think it's just so important and I just love helping people so I just really want to um create this channel to support other people and um hopefully inspire you as well um but yeah so thank you for visiting my channel and um, please subscribe if you'd like to follow my journey and um, let me know if you are also um on a v-back journey um but yeah so my name's andrea lee um, and i have a daughter who is three she's going to be four in june although she acts like she's about 50 um she's hilarious um but yeah so at the moment i'm still working um, but I'm working from home because of COVID. Um, so I'm a support worker for um, vulnerable adults in my communi community. So that's such a rewarding job to be a part of. Um, I'm currently studying um, a Bachelor of Science um, degree honours um, at university doing psychology and counselling. And I've got my own business doing hair, makeup, eyebrows and um, things like that um, and I've got other little side hustle things but obviously at the moment all I can really do is um, my support worker and support working and um, obviously uni that's gonna our second semester is gonna commence on um, at the end of January so yeah so we'll just get into the video and I hope that um, you enjoy it and learn a few things and hopefully know that um yeah you can do this and I think you just yeah you just need to believe in yourself because our bodies are capable of extra extraordinary things so something as a vaginal delivery is definitely possible. I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant um I have already got a daughter who is going to be four this year um, and she was a section. Um, the only reason why she was a section was because she was a breech baby. So although I really wanted to have a breech vaginal delivery, um, there was sort of some sort of scaremongering kind of going on. And because I was obviously like a lot younger at the time, um, I just sort of like listened to all the advice that was given to me and I obviously wanted the best for my baby. So went ahead with the... Um, the cesarean section so it was a planned a uh, planned elective one um not that i was happy about it which was um awful but that's another story um she, i couldn't have the ecv which is like where they manually turn the baby around um because she was too small um but she came out seven pound four and a half so who knows um anyway VBAC. So for those of you that don't know, VBAC stands for Vaginal Birth After Caesarean. Um, there's also an updated um, name, like I think it's TOLAC. So that's Trial of Labour After Caesarean. However, I prefer VBAC because, yeah, just TOLAC just sounds like so like, oh, you're, you're trying, but you're not quite there. So VBAC. Um, so basically, yeah, VBAC is just what I said. It's a vaginal birth after deliver after section, um, and like I said, not many women know that this is actually an option. Um, you usually think if you've had a section before, then you need to have another one, um, but that's not the case at all. Um, there's actually, um, like re there's risks and whatever, like for having a pregnancy all in all but obviously um with having a v-back for me the reason why i want to go for one is because i'm determined like determined and i really want to do it and there's no reason why i can't and um, there's no reason why anyone can't if that's what they want 
um, just with my section I found that it was really hard like recovery I was really sore all the time and I just felt like I couldn't bond with my baby as well um, and yeah it was just an awful experience for me I just really didn't like it some people are fine with having you know sections and things but for me it's just not what I wanted and I think because I had it in my head how I wanted to have my birth and it went a completely different way I think that's what really caused me to have like postnatal depression so it was awful um and yeah it just was really hard and although I had like the support of support of my partner just other things around it was just awful and um, to be honest so this time I feel like I'm in a really good headspace feel really positive about it all um and yeah I just really want to have a natural delivery the recovery time is obviously significantly um less um you can literally do things like the next day and it also just means that if I want to have more children then um the chance of me having a repeat like be back another vaginal delivery after this one um is a lot more so if you're thinking about you want a bigger family and things like that then probably having a VBAC is your best option um, because that doesn't reduce the amount of pregnancies that you can have. I mean, no one's to tell you you can only have three sections, you can only have two children, things like that. Obviously, your body's your body, but it, you just need to be aware of the risks that come along with having repeat um, sections. So, yeah, I just really want to... Um, support other mums that have maybe been in this you know pr like position before um and just sort of like let mums know as well that are pregnant and have had sections like you don't have to have another section like irrespective of your um situation previously you if you want to have a vaginal delivery then you can it's your body and a lot of people think that what doctors say go it doesn't what you say go um, how you want to have your birth goes and you're the one that's got the control nobody else does obviously they can advise you and you know you should take their advice seriously um, but at the end of the day if you want to do something then you've got every right to um, and actually my consultant's very supportive of me having a VBAC I think you need to think about like if you're a good candidate and there's no like good or bad candidate but for my position because obviously the only reason that I had a section before it was an emergency section um which is obviously good that means that there's more chances of this being successful um she was a breech baby um so the chances of this baby being breech are a lot less um so that's also good candidate obviously my age as well um, and the other thing as well is you have to think about your scar so it's very uncommon to have a vertical scar now but some sections um, for whatever reason you would have had if you've had a vertical scar that's your doctor probably advise you not to have a VBAC because of the way that the scar is. It's like up and down. So there's more chances of the scar rupturing as a lot of pressure will be on that part of your stomach when you're contracting or, you know, trying to give birth. Whereas if you have um, a vertical scar, which is really common now, like I have a vertical one, the place where it is like just like on my pubic bone, like it's, there's the chance of it rupturing are very low. It, I would say you need to probably, if you want to have the most successful VBAC, wait at least a year after having your section to get pregnant again, just to give your scar time to heal and be as, at its strongest. Um, I'm sure there's women that have had a VBAC like nine months after having a section, but obviously just to give yourself and your body the best like chance at this, um, I would probably wait a year so so like I said my section was about four years ago now um so I feel like that's a really good chance of me being able to um there's other things that can obviously assist you and help you along the way um and I'll talk about that in uh, another video as well um but yeah so I mean if you've got any questions or anything like that then please put them in the comments um I can make another video like more in depth but yeah basically that's what a VBAC is and 
um, I'm just waiting on my midwife appointment which is in two weeks time she wanted to see me and then hopefully because you know what's like the most I think because obviously my first baby was breech I'm just like in my head I'm like please don't be breech please don't be breech so I've been doing all these exercises um again I'll talk about it in a separate video about like things to ensure a successful VBAC um so I'll make that video separate otherwise this would just go on forever um, but it's one of those things where I'm like, I literally don't know like what position she's in. I sometimes feel like there's like five babies in here because like I get kicks all over and I just cannot map out like where, like where she is. Um, it's just, it's crazy. So sometimes I, when I'm doing my exercises, I'm like, I don't want to do them, overdo them in case like she is actually head down and by doing these she's gonna like turn or whatever but I just I literally don't have a clue um I mean they've got plenty of time to anyway it's probably about 36 37 weeks that you would hope that they would be head down um just obviously so that there's no um sort of oh, like what's gonna happen and like you know just to make yourself like feel at ease as well but of course there's be there's babies can turn up until like you your waters break like up until you can track do you know what i mean they could be lying transverse and just turn like at the last minute so you just never know so i think one of the most important things is being really positive so just bearing in mind all the risks that come along with it but then also all the positives that come along with it as well and i think you need to have you need to be determined and you need to be really motivated to do this you can't go into it half-heartedly i think if you want a v-back then you need to want it and you need to have that mindset you need to ensure that what you're doing is going to give you the most success for a v-back and um I'm, I think joining a Facebook book group as well is really important. So I've joined a um, VBAC Facebook group um, and I would say make sure that it's like within your country. So this is like a VBAC um, UK group because I'm obviously live in the UK. So obviously if you're from a different country, make sure that it's like the people in the group are from the same country. Because obviously just with like legislation and like hospitals and laws and things like that could be different for different countries. But definitely getting into a Facebook group um, because just reading like other stories of women that have had um, VBACs and things like that is just amazing. Like it keeps you so positive and it just makes you think, do you know what, I can do this because your body is amazing. Like we take for granted, like we're actually making another life. Like our body is actually creating, like they've, it's creating a new life. And I just think that is the most amazing thing ever. So if your body can do something as complex as making a new life, then it can surely, like, I can, I know that I can surely do this. I know that I can. And I know that I just need to trust my body. And at the end of the day as well is being really positive, but also knowing that what will be will be. And what's best for your baby at the time will be what's best for your baby. So going in hoping to have success but also knowing that if it doesn't go your way then you know that's that's just life and you need to deal with that and I think that's what made it so bad like the first time with my first pregnancy is the fact that I had it regimented I want this I want this I want this I want that and that's why it's great to have a birth plan but you need to I think remember which I wasn't told is that it might not actually go the way that you want it so everyone's like oh do you know what you want to do for your birth like what are you gonna do and I was like yes I'm gonna have a water birth and um, this is gonna happen and I didn't I didn't even expect my baby to be breached like I didn't even know that was a thing like I didn't know anything like that was my first successful pregnancy and I just didn't have a clue like at all I would say like at the time I was like yeah like I know what I'm doing but like you literally don't and even though this is my second successful pregnancy no one like no matter how many children you have like you can't say you know everything you just can't because every pregnancy is different like this pregnancy has been so different to my first and this is another girl as well so it doesn't matter if you're having a boy you know it, it's just you just never know and you just yeah you just don't know um I've just went on a wee tangent and I've like lost my train of thought there 
but yeah just being mindful um and respecting yourself as well and giving yourself that respect that do you know what you tried it mama like you you have done it like you have tried it and I think for me that's a win um I am really hoping and praying that I can get my view back but also I know that I'm doing everything I possibly can to ensure that so at the end of the day I've tried my best and it's up to my body to decide what's best for my baby um but yeah it's just um it's just incredible but yeah so that's just basically a little brief outline of like what a view back is what is for me my journey so far um but yeah that's it really and just like a bit of an introduction to myself so thank you for watching my video um hopefully um it has inspired you and you've got to know me a little bit and you want to follow my journey and um, please let me know in the comments if there's any videos you would like me to do um if there's any questions if i've not covered anything um i hope i have it's just like i'm just like rambling what's in my head so i've not actually had like a plan of what i was gonna say um but yeah hopefully you want to follow my journey and um, i'll be doing lots more videos and um hopefully um in the next eight weeks i will have a successful v back story um so yeah till next time thank you